How goes it, YouTube's Minecraft Go here today? I am bringing you uh, the second part of the, uh, the economy and economy chess shop tutorial. And today we'll actually be going in game, and I'll be telling you how to um, work economy and uh, make shops with chess shop. Uh, if you're wondering what the texture pack is, it is a customized version of John Smith texture pack. Uh, so yeah. All right. Now for economy, the base command is slash money. This is what what money the slash money does it's going to um this is right here i don't know if you can see my mouse or not but um i hope you can see my mouse <laughs> i've been bad in the last tutorial yeah uh, but this is going to tell you how much money you have all right but now for to get all the the money commands or the icon commands you're just going to do slash money question mark or slash money help um all right now slash money we've already done that now if you do slash money and we can do say one two three it's going to bring up the um, amount of money that person has. But see, the person, uh, does not, the account does not exist because they've never come on the server. So as soon as someone joins on the server, it will create an account for them. And yeah. But now if we do slash money create one, two, three. And now we do slash uh, money one, two, three. It will say they have one, uh, $200. Now if we do slash money create again. And let's just say, let's just put one, two, three a capital B C now if we do slash money one two three a capital B, B C, I think this would be weird texture back and it'll tell you how much money they have again but now if we do slash money one two three ABC without the capital B it'll still bring up um, how much money they have um, yeah but because in older versions I believe in economy 5 it would have to be case sensitive so yeah, that got really annoying, so that was deprecated. I think that's the right word. I don't know. I just it just felt the word just felt right. All right. So now the next command is uh, let's do slash money top. All right. It's going to tell you all the people um, that have the most money. Let's say I give myself. Uh, let's give myself fifty dollars. Oh, so money give. Um, yeah. Money give, player name, amount. So I'm gonna give myself $50. Now if we do slash money top again, I am at the top now if I do give money, give, one, two, three, uh, $500, or 5,000, 5,000. Then we do slash money top again, he will be at the number one. So let's do slash money help again. Uh, wow, well, money help. Slash money help. And now we have all our commands back. So. Money top, well, we did just do that. So if we do slash money pay, let's give one, two, three. Um, let's pay him $50. So now we should do slash money one, two, three. He has $5,250, but if we do slash money top. I have $200 and he has 5250 and one, two, three, ABC still has $200 because nobody loves him. Um, now, uh, I forgot to say at this beginning, but if you're up, uh, to to use most of these like uh, give take set um, purge empty yeah to do all those um, you have to have op all right or you have to give give the permission if you're using uh, group manager permissions permissions x uh, etc but I installed I'm up and I installed all plugins so there you go all right we d we already went over money create so now let's do money remove let's say ah uh, I didn't want to create one two three let's just remove him and now if we do slash money top he is no longer there and I'm the second richest even though I have the same amount of money as him uh, so, yeah. and that's basically how you remove someone out of your entire economy so now if we do slash money uh, we already did slash money give now let's take some from a uh, one two three ABC let's, let's take away three hundred and fifty dollars See, it'll say he had $350 deducted. Now, if we do slash money top, you can see he actually has negative money. That's only if you take away money. There's no way you can get negative unless someone takes it away. Um, now, we can do slash, let's say, I was like, ah, I didn't want to do that. But you don't, don't, you'll say, you know, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to take away your money. Let me just give you, um, let me just give you $500 in total. Right. So now, if we do slash, um, money top he is that's he has been set to $500 with slash money set player name amount 
So that's basically setting it to that amount, not adding it, not taking it, just setting. And you can also do a slash money set uh, one two three a b c negative five hundred. Do uh, money top again. He now you'll see he has negative five hundred. So basically, you're just going to set it to whatever you put in the params. So now let's do money money. Keep spelling that wrong. Money help again. And the last one. Uh, there's sorry. Let's do more. Now we can do a slash money status. And then we, let's do myself. Uh, account status is currently zero. I have no idea what it means, but you know, I was just doing it. Check set account status. Money. Let me just try this. Status. Minecraft to go. Let's just change this to one. Money. Status. Minecraft to go. So, I have no idea what it does. But uh, I'm just going to change it back to zero. Just in case. Um. I have no idea what it does. I'm, you guys can research it, you big boys, slash gals, hopefully. Um, so yeah, money status, Minecraft go, and it's back to zero. Oh no! Yeah, all right. Ah, no, this is being an epic failure. Money status, Minecraft to go. Alright, there we go, finally. Okay, so it's back to zero. Oh, wow, that took a lot longer. Now if we do a slash money purge, it'll purge all accounts with initial holdings. So now if we do slash money top, um, you can see nothing was purged because one, I'm online, and it'll just give me my... Oh, actually, no. Let me money create one, two, three, A, B, C, one, two, three, again. So now we do slash money top again to see who's there. He, you can see he has two hundred dollars. So now we do slash money purge, ah, money purge, and then do money top. What? No. Oh, what? All nicked. That's weird. That might be a bug, but that should have removed his account. And, oh, it might have been because I created it manually. If someone actually joined in on a different account, on an actual account. Um, and they started playing and all that, and they saw 200 by the time. That would probably do it. So, money help. And the last one is slash money empty. It's gonna empty everything. So if we do slash money top, and you can see there's no accounts there. So let me disconnect. Join back in. We do slash money top, and there I am again. So purge may not be working correctly, but basically, uh, if it does get fixed or just I did something weird happen when I did it. It's just going to remove any account with the initial holding set in the config.yml. All right, now we're on to the chest job, uh, chest job portion. So let me just uh, create one more account. Let's just call this Steve. So now we stop my top and yeah, there we go. And see, so we're there. Now we need to create a chest up. So basically, to create a chest job, all we're going all we're to do is find a, a nice looking chest. And now we are just going to write, put, place a sign either here, 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 and if these blocks weren't he, uh, there, here and here, if this block wasn't here, 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 or we can place it under it. Those are all the places we could place it, which is 10, and it'll be 6 for this one. So let's just place it here so it doesn't um, interfere with this chest and doesn't just go off the side. So we're just going to place it here. Now, to create a shop for yourself, just, um, just click enter. So this the the first line is gonna be blank, and here we're gonna put uh, the amount per clicking. Basically, if I set this to uh, 64, every whatever is all right. No, let's just uh, basically whatever I'm selling or buying, that's how much I'm I'm gonna get or sell. Uh, next line, we're gonna put the buyer price. Let's just put this at 256 for what I have. Mine. And for the sell price, let's just put this at 128. And now, now you can put the item ID. So I'm, I'm just gonna make this log, okay? Done. And now we're buying for 256 and selling for 128. And this is log, which is 17. So let me, or wood as it's called in Minecraft. Now we're just gonna open our chest and place it there. So now, if I wasn't me, I would be able to buy and sell. Let me just my game. Game mode. I should be. I. Uh, 
I thought I'd change that to config, but whatever. Yeah, so if I wasn't Minecraft Go, let's say I would be Steve, I could buy and sell from the shop. <coughs> Alright. Um. Okay, so now we can also do this for any other. For here, we can just put blank, and just put this 64, and put this 256 again, and we're going to put this 128. And now, let's... Oh, I made it. I made a boo-boo. They still haven't edited. They still haven't made it where you can go back. I know they just did it in chat where you could um, go back to wherever you need to, you know, like normal typing. But they didn't do it in science for some reason. So let's say I'll make this dark logs. Put 17 and then colon one. Now, why colon one? Hey, hey, no. Oh no! I destroyed my sign. No, or shop. Okay, that's there was a. Uh, I guess they changed it. That's stupid. So let's just do that again. Let's try that one more time. 64, 256, 128, 17 colon 1. Ah, there we go. So, uh, must have been a weird glitch, or I probably had a typo there. I probably forgot the colon, or it was probably a semicolon. I don't know. But now it was successfully created. So, basically, if I give my full, so full, this is 17 colon 1, which is dark log. Put this in here. I should be able to buy and sell from it and what well, the colon one is the data is the data value okay uh, if you go I can't cuz for fraps I set this to record only the screen so that's gonna be a problem basically if you can go to um, an item ID list it will give you all the data values or the IDs and that data values I'm not sure same thing or is whatever that colon one is it will give you it'll tell you what it is so if you're trying to do a potion that's gonna a certain potion it'll give you like two five seven three colon something 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 um, it'll it was gonna just make it the specific potion and you can place like a sign next to it saying hey this is this kind of potion here or but now let's say you don't know any item IDs and here uh, and here let's say I just want to sell wooden planks so now we can just do this uh, 64 64 32 and now we can just put to put planks see You've specified an invalid item ID. That's because I didn't use the one. They like uh, they like to use wood. It's just really weird. Like they don't do planks. Even though those was they don't do what it's called in game. They have to they specify their own. They make their up their own rules. So 64, 64. The supply price, sell price, and now let's try wood. So now this is wood. This item ID five, aka okay, wooden planks, is wood. And now that's how you can do it without uh, just entering item ID. But in, even if you did enter the item ID, it will just go to the name. Makes it a lot uh, easier because I remember in old versions, if you put say 278 here or any item ID, it would stay 278. It wouldn't convert it to the actual name. So you have to put like you'd have to type it out and try to find it and all that. Really got confusing. So I can buy stuff from there. Um. All right. Now let's talk about admin shops actually no let me show you how a chess shop would work if I made it to a different account so over here let me get myself some dirt okay shift click shift click and shift click alright so now let's say I'm gonna entitle this to Steve the first line's the owner so you can enter this manually but I think you have to be opt to do that I'm not sure Steve and then now we're gonna put in the say let's put three for dirt and you can or, sorry, 64 for the amount, and now to sell this where you get this 16, sell for 8, no, 4, and actually, no, let's make that 8. And just 3 here for dirt. Now, this is actually entitled Steve, so let me change my game mode so I don't accidentally destroy his sign. And plus, I wouldn't be able to do that. And let me just, since I'm up, I can place stuff in your chest. I'm gonna buy from you. See, I just bought it, and I didn't get any message because I disabled that in the config. But if I didn't disable that in the config, it said you just bought this X amount of this from this person for this price. That's basically how it will do it. Also, can sell just by left clicking, and I sold it. And so if I do slash money, notice I have eight dollars less because I bought it for sixteen and sold it for eight. So let me actually no, just keep. Um, 
No, no, it's game mode. All right, now I'm gonna talk to you how admin shops work. Uh, basically, what admin and shop is is uh, where's where's a good spot to put it? No, nope, we're gonna put it right next to this coolly built spawn I built in three seconds. Let's just put it right here. So the first line is gonna be admin shop or whatever you whatever you specified in the config.yml for iconomy. All right, and the, or was it chess shop? It's one of the two. Uh, nope. Uh, uh. <laughs> It's one of the two, so whatever you put there. Admin shop. Now gonna, let's just do 64, and let's make this. Uh, hmm. Price 128. I, yeah, 128, and we'll sell it for 64. And let's just make this 17 colon uh, four, which should be jungle logs. Yeah, jungle logs are I think are hard to get. I'm gonna change my game mode. Game mode. Crap to go. And zero. So now I'm gonna right click. I'm buying all these logs, and as soon as I don't have enough money, it's gonna say, "Hey, you don't have enough money." But if I can sell it and buy and sell, then 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 buy, sell and buy, sell and buy, sell and buy. Now if I do such money, I have one dollar. Not no good, no good. Is uh, and with that, in the very last option in the config.yml for one of the two configs, uh, I think it was for economy. It's basically, um, yeah, I think it's for economy. And let me just check something real quick. It, uh, notice how I didn't have enough money to buy for this, but I still got items. But so you had like, I think I had $64 and it gave me 32. Um, yeah, so that's how I wanted it. And now I can't buy anything because there's nothing divisible. I need a minimum of two. Minecraft to go one. All right, so now I'm back in creative, and we also um, let me show you what happens when this sh uh, when the shop is out of stock. So let's just create another one for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, blank. Actually, no. Let's just make this Steve wall. Everything for, from Steve, because I will need to do that anyway. Steve, gonna buy in 64, and now we're gonna make this uh, buy for 64, sell for 32, and we're gonna make this cobblestone. Yeah. And if you are a default player, you will not be able to steal anything from these chests at all. Steal, take, or give, unless you do it through here. So let me just change my game mode. I'm just gonna keep it survival. So now, if I if I buy, I oh, I need a money, give, Minecraft to go. That's a lot of money. So I'm just gonna buy like crazy. And it's notice this, it says the shop is out of stock. I don't, after I tried to buy. And if we look in this chest, it's out of stock. So if put it here again, and it's out of stock. So yeah, and it also works. This works for any item ID, just to show you. Um, Ninety-eight. I think that's right. Stone bricks, smooth brick. Okay, put this in here, and now we're just gonna. Yep, out of stock, so it works. And again, if you're default or didn't have the permission, you will not be able to open. I think you'll be able to open these chests, but you won't be able to take anything out. So yeah, that basically uh, sums up the plugin. So thanks for watching. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Chest shop. Uh, chest shop help. Okay, yep, that's pretty. That uh, covers about everything for chest shop and economy so thanks for watching if you like to subscribe i don't care it's your decision I, I believe you have the freedom to choose what you want to do on youtube at least if you don't in your country i don't know why i'm saying that because you generally do it's getting awkward now so thanks for watching good luck have fun bye bye